Turbulence. It's something that many of us have experienced with a lot of nervousness on a flight. It can range from light to extreme, and many factors come into play for causing it. And our Gwen Talbert is at the University of Maryland today to talk to an expert about it. Gwen, I'm one of those people that if there's a lot of turbulence on the plane and I'm sitting next to a total stranger, I will grab that stranger's hand and we will pray. <laughs> Rob, I'm right with you. I've grabbed many a hand on a flight with turbulence. I'm like you. I get nervous and I get really worried about it. Well, you know, turbulence, it's, it's really interesting because it isn't exactly always what people think each and every time. Now, we are here at the University of Maryland, and this is actually the Glen L. Martin wind tunnel that we're walking into where it's a little bit echoey, but not too bad. But there's a lot of things that happen in here in terms of turbulence related, so to speak. And with me now is Jewel Barr. Carlo, who is the director. Uh, Jewel, tell me, people see storms, they think of turbulence, they see clear skies. Turbulence, how come? But there's more than one type of turbulence. There's four. Yes, and uh, the, the, the one that you would normally uh, experience, like in the wind today, is when the wind blows across uh, buildings, trees, etc., and creates unsteady flows. We think of that as a kind of a shear layer that creates unsteady flow. That's usually not that, that important for large airplanes. It may be important for small airplanes. Uh, but other, other types of turbulence, for example, uh, that that results from the change in, in uh, vertical rising uh, uh, streams, that, that is air which is moving vertically up and down. And when an airplane flies through them, that can be very severe. So we have thunderstorms and we're talking now. Now, we've got some video to show our viewers of, uh, you know, some mids and what it looks like sometimes on a plane after the turbulence does hit quite hard with that. Um, but there's also what they call mechanical. Well, the mechanical is what I was just referring to as the, as the shear things, mm -hmm. right? But then the other types are clear air turbulence, which is much harder to define. It, it, that occurs with no apparent clouds, it can be at any altitude and has caused a lot of injuries for on, on transport flights. And, and that's the one that is still most difficult to, uh, to realize is coming up and it can cause injuries to, to uh, airline passengers and uh, the, uh, the attendants, the, atten well. the attendants right. as well because they aren't expecting it. Right. Now, we're in the wind tunnel right now. We've got some video that we're showing of the wind tunnel. Uh, unfortunately, it's under maintenance, so we can't put it in action, but it can replicate that. Yes, we can create air speeds right here where we're standing up to 230 miles per hour. Wow. I can't imagine. That's a lot. I mean, I'm glad I'm not hanging on to my hat here for everything in dear life, but that just goes to show you. One tip that I saw online from pilots was take your seating toward where the, uh, the wings are or more the front of the plane, and that'll help you a little bit for smoother sailing. And best to fly first thing in the morning, then later in the day. Back to you.